Hey guys, Nikolai here, and um, do you know those missing textures you get in Gary's mod? Well, we're gonna fix that today for 2016 that's working right now. So, you may get those missing textures, and what these are is they're CSGO textures that some people use, but for some reason haven't been updated into Gary's mod. So, the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna download something right here, links in the description, and it's gonna call the WinRAR, and this will not mess up your PC. Um, it doesn't add on anything, it doesn't change files when you download them. The only thing this helps is when you ask it to, it will, what it'll do is, is um, it'll help extract files easier. Your language, there's a lot. English is towards the top, right here. I don't know, go with 32-bit, I know, so 64-bit. So I already have that downloaded. So all you gotta do is click it and it'll download. You click after it's um, downloaded and you just wanna hit um, accept and then it'll be done. So the next thing that you want to do, link in the description for this, this site is actually good, Mediify, it's all good, um, I have it downloaded already, you just want to click download, and this should take 5-10 minutes, I have really really good internet, so for some people maybe 20, but as you can see, I'm going to drag this to my desktop, it wants to play, for some odd reason, in a movie maker file, go ahead and right click, you want to hit extract to see it, CSS underscore content add on December 2013. Double click that. And this is going to take a minute to do, but as you can see, I already have it downloaded. I'm just teaching you guys how to do it. Oh, that's why it says one there. It's going to take a minute to do this. <clears throat> so it's going to actually, it's going to take all of the files that were actually in the movie maker format or whatever format it's in. And it's going to put it into regular files so your PC can read this easier. So this only takes a little bit, and I'll see you guys when that's done. So now that this is done, you have um, your little file thing right here. You can go ahead and um, toss this in the recycle bin for now. Let me empty my site recycle bin real quickly. There we go. Yes. Minimize. Minimize. So you have this. Um, you have this file here now. And as you can see, when I double click it, there's a file inside a file. It's weird. This kind of tripped me up at first because I put this in the right um, location, but this is a file inside a file, which is weird. So let's go ahead and you'll see this right here. Just want to grab that and drag it out. And this will take a half a second to um, um, do that. So now that you have that onto your desktop, if you look inside, you should have materials, models, particles, scripts, sound, and this add on note, and this just tells you all about it. You don't care about that. So now this part kind of trips people up, but if you go along with me, it should be easy. So the first thing you want to do is everybody has this. Just go into your search if you don't know where it is and just type my, it's not loading, my, and then it should say this or my PC, depending on if you're Windows 7, 8, or 10. So just click that, and now if you look right here, you should say Windows C, and if you can't find it, just like for this PC right here, you can scroll up or down. Double click that, here we go. You wanna hit Windows and whatever one you're running, this is my main hard drive right here, I actually don't have another hard drive installed. You just wanna click your main hard drive. And now you'll get all these weird things, we do not wanna mess with these. Just go ahead and go down and find program files times 86. Double click that. Then scroll down. They're all in um, alphabetical order. Find Steam. Click that. And if you get lost, they're all up here. Um, now you want to go and you want to scroll down and then you want to find where the Steam apps. Double click that. And now you want to click Common. It's at the very top. And now here are all of your games that you've downloaded through. Um, <clears throat> Steam. So you want to go ahead and you want to find Gary's Mod. Double click that. And this is kind of weird. You want to hit Gary's Mod again. You know, there's add-ons right here. And this is the first thing that should come up because alphabetical. I want to double click that. If you haven't added anything, this should be empty. So you just want to click your file. You see your file right here that we have on our desktop. Click that. You want to move the add-ons. So there we go. And this should take, only take a seat. It takes a half a second. And all that you have that in there, this will read, um, Gary's Mod reads add-ons before it ever starts, um, the actual game. So now all those missing textures will be gone, um, as long as you don't have this inside the other folder. So if, if you double click this right here, CSS Contact Add-on December 2013, should be this right here. It should look exactly like this. You have that there. Now every time you boot up Gary's Mod, you'll have that. So all those missing textures, all those weird purple things and the air signs, They'll all be gone, and if you ever still see them on a server, ask the admin because he could be running even more custom customs, and all you gotta do is go to the website he told you and follow exact steps that I just told you. 
Thank you guys for watching. This has been Nikolai, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.